Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I figure I'd get on here really, really quick because I, yeah, thank you guys for watching my channel. Uh, I'm trying to find a space and some place to put more fitness stuff on this page. So forgive me because I want it to be right and easy to access, that type of thing. So um, I wanted to get on here and sing about my, you know, my own prayer time and my own just mindset and, and taking time and devoting my mind to things of God. Uh, sometimes I think about when we make phrases about people by saying, oh, that person will never change. That person will never change. And I had to, I had to catch myself in saying that because um, I'm not the people that knew me from years and years ago. I'm not the same Patrice. And I have God to thank for that. I have Jesus to thank about that for that. And I think about how God sent us a redeemer and Jesus paid the ultimate debt for our sins to be completely forgiven. He forgave your sins and he forgave the sins people have done against you. And he said no more. He wiped them clean. That's like you having a bad credit score, having a 300 or 400 credit score, having loads and loads of credit card debt and loads and loads of things where you tried to get a house denied, try to get an apartment denied because your credit is bad. But because you tapped into the right resource, your everything that is on your credit score has been wiped clean, wiped off because you tapped into something that will help you clean up your credit score. And that's how I think about Jesus. When I think about Jesus Christ, my redeemer, my credit score clearer, right? He basically took the stuff that I've done in the past and he said no more. He even took the things that people did to me and he said no more. And so you can't help but change because of the re the redemption that Jesus has done for us, right? You can't help but change. You can't stay the same. You just cannot stay the same. And so sometimes I do think about when people say, oh, this person will never change. This person will never change. No, you need to pray that one day they come, they have an encounter with Jesus, that they have an encounter with the Holy Ghost. And having that encounter with the Holy Ghost will want you as an individual to pull that stuff out, to pluck all that stuff out, to ask for forgiveness of sins, to, to remove all that stuff that just makes you this type of person that people want to avoid. And, you know, ultimately you check, check it for yourself. And, you know, ultimately it opens up your mind and puts you in a position for discernment where you can know the difference between whether people are you know, just faking <laughs> or whether people are just honest in their dealings. And that's, that's essentially, um, <clears throat> that's essentially where being connected and staying connected to the, to the living water in Jesus Christ, being connected to the living water that is of Jesus Christ. And that will ultimately change who you are. So I had to change my perspective just by itself you can you could say all you want to this person will never change this person will never change god can change anybody anybody doesn't matter they could be behind prison walls they could be impoverished they could be in the strip club in the crack house shoot some people are sitting in capitol hill <laughs> some people are sitting in the white house god could change anybody once you tap into the redeemer jesus christ and so i say that to say that we have to be careful in saying that person can never change because he changed you he changed you the stuff that you used to do back in the day let's hope <laughs> you're not doing that anymore to think the behaviors the mindsets you have i mean you, the redeemer came in and said nope not gonna hold that against them and you shouldn't hold it against yourself either i'm guilty of that too so I, you have to think about, you have to be careful about saying this person will never change, this person will never change, because you may have been the person people have said this person will never change. You may have been that person that said that will never change. And what I mean by never change, changing for, you know, changing as, as far as bad attitudes and bad dealings and just things that were just not promoting the Holy Ghost. Um, 
but you know ultimately you know it, it's all about the change in your attitude all because you stay connected to the vine you stay connected to the living water and because being connected to the living water you will have a fruitful tree you will be super fruitful super fruitful and anytime anybody want to deal with you or anybody that comes across your pathway will will eat the good fruit and i'm not just talking about um in what you're doing indeed will eat the good fruit in a sense that they're going to want to know this man that has changed your life and in order for them to get to know this man to that'll change your life your fruit has to be good your fruit has to be good and so i even think about like i said today i just think about and saying oh man this person will never change this person you know no they'll change you just gotta get out their way you gotta get out of god's way let god get a hold of them let them let them move out the way sometimes you have to step away from people to allow God to do his job <clears throat> and it's not anything negative it's no love lost or anything like that um you just got to get out the way you got to get out the way and let God deal with them and it's not a bad thing and that's not to say that you wish hurt harm or danger on anybody um you know you, sometimes we stay we try to stick around in relationships knowing daggone well God didn't call us to be in that situation and you need to move you need to get out of god's way and even for ourselves like we are hoping for this and hoping for that and you know me personally i do desire marriage but in that you know i gotta get out of god's way i gotta get out of god's way and have to follow what he tells me to do and the direction that he provides for me because he is the creator and so why am i trying to tell what the why am i trying to tell the creator what to do he created me, created you, created the sky, created the leaves, created seasons, created time. So why am I in his way? So I just really wanted to get on here not trying to preach to nobody because that's not my thing. So, um, but I just want to emphasize the importance of knowing that God can change anybody because ultimately God has changed you. And you were probably part of that nobody. Oh, yeah, no, but Patrice ain't ever changing. Da, 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 da. She ain't not. Da, I'm going to just disconnect my, myself. And one way to kind of tell that maybe something might be off is that you just want to look around and see the people that are near you. You want to see the people that are near you. Or you want to assess how you are, how, what's your social life looking like. If you feel like you're if you feel like you can't be social for whatever reason you know what i'm saying if you feel like that you just don't want to be social and that type of thing that could be indicated that you might want to change up your fertilizer your fruit your your water if you get my drift if you want to change up um yeah change some things up that's so important so important so i didn't want i said i didn't want to stand here long and i won't because i gotta get to work um but i pray you guys have a great day um, I'll be praying for you and yeah, all that other stuff. Pray that, pray for the person that you think can never change. Spend some time praying for them because God can change anybody. And once you have faith that God can change anybody, trust me, because God changed you. People have faith and pray for you that you would change and you did. So offer that same courtesy to somebody else that you think can't change because God can change anybody. Have a great day. I love you.